All right, guys, thanks uh, for registering. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly the uh, the software platform I'm using is NinjaTrader. Um, if you go to ninjatrader.com, this is you'll this is the page you'll see. Um, all you have to do is click on free to use, download now, um, and then I believe you can download it without entering a license key. Um, however, what I would recommend doing in this case to get uh, free, uh, this is for futures data, um, and I can get you uh, through Yahoo or I think Google Finance um, also, you can get free end of day stock data um, sort of as a starting point. Just nice to be able to play around with this prior to having to pay for any data. Um, so to get uh, free futures data, it's two week. Uh, it's a two week trial. Um, or I should say a two-week demo, you go to AMP Futures. It's just ampfutures.com. Um, and let's just see, take you to their home page. So then you just click on free demo here. This is, this is the main page. Click on free demo. Just put in your contact information in here. Submit demo request. Now this runs out in two weeks, um, but there's two things you can do. One is after two weeks goes by, you can just renew your demo. Just come back to this page and do it again. Um, or you can open an account, but just not fund it, and you will um, have basically ongoing uh, ongoing uh, data for for free while while that account account is pending. And I think you can leave it in that state for quite a while. Um, either way, you know it's not that big a deal to just do this uh, once every two weeks. So then uh, go ahead and just complete this. You will receive a license key from AMP in your in your email uh, within probably 10 minutes or less. Um, I think they send the license key almost immediately to tell you the truth, and then that is followed up by your username and password, which you'll need to configure NinjaTrader once you have uh, downloaded it. So then go ahead and download NinjaTrader, and I will walk you through the rest of the setup here in just a minute. Okay. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go under help um, and put your license key in this box right here. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to, let's see here, um, tools, account connections, add an account, click next name the account connection I would just name it AMP or whatever you want um, you're going to want to click this to CQG okay and then go to next uh, actually I have to enter something here CQG uh, enable historical data click next and then the username and password will be sent to you by AMP that should be in, uh, in your box within 15 minutes of when you register on their site, enter that information, um, and then just click next and uh, and and uh, finish. Okay. Then you'll you'll go ahead and you'll be set up um, to connect to the data. You just go to connect here, and your this is the one that you just put in. So AMP. Um, you'll just click that, and I'll just do it here. You'll see right here connecting, and this will turn green when it's connected. Um, I'll make a separate video showing some basic uh, charts set up here, um, but I will just show you that uh, to create a chart, you just go to New Chart. You select your you select uh, you know your symbol. It'll pop in here. Um, if you have a template you can go ahead and click on that template which obviously on new installation you won't have that yet um, but for future reference create a new chart and it'll pop up and it'll lock up while it's uh, loading whatever data that you requested um, basic repositioning on the chart you just grab the time down here and drag it left to right and um, you can reposition and resize your chart. Same with uh, price over here. Um, to move the whole chart up or down, 
one um, sort of issue with Ninja Trader is that you know as price goes, it'll actually it'll actually start to go off the page sometimes. This little F right here, if you click that, it'll recenter it. You can then resize it this way, and if you press Control and then click on the, the uh, price field, you can move the whole thing up and down uh, vertically. So a few little tricks that'll just sort of make your experience a little a little better here. And then I will go into the indicator setup in the next video. Okay, and the indicator you can get for free at CurrencyTraderPro.com um, is on the screen here. Again, just to give you an idea of what it can do. Uh, you launch the indicator from important pivot points. This was launched many weeks uh, ago. Um, this is a weekly chart. <clears throat> you can see here the kind of support, potential support zones that it points out. Um, and obviously uh, support is made to be broken so you have to have a trade plan in place to capture these moves but to prevent any large losses when you move through that area but you can see again these are the areas that you want to really be paying attention and looking for the appropriate trade setups um, each of these little triangles is actually an indication uh, I should say an alert that that level has been touched so just bringing your attention to it um, again, you can see up in here, we're getting an alert in this area, we're getting an alert in here prior to this move down, and then alert so that we're paying attention to the support zone. Um, and then, but you know, we're, we have a real-time alert intra-week if, if we choose to this test, and then again to this test prior to this huge move down. Um, and then again right into support and we are paying attention again as we test these levels um, again a test in here uh, and it doesn't look at this this one bar doesn't look as impressive but when you consider that we tested this upper resistance area and then moved down this is all big move. To, I mean, this is a, a full week's bar. So if we had dropped down, if we had been paying attention in here on a daily or intraday time frame, we could have captured an enormous move right in there. Um, and then, you know, you can see we're being alerted to this, all of these support zones, to this resistance, um, to resistance in here, not quite as clean. Um, support, resistance, and um, you know this is the area that we hope we were able to enter and then hold through uh, for, for a break to, to the short side. Um, yeah, of course, as we tested support in here, we might we might have gotten long intra week, but then. If we were looking on a daily or intraday chart, we would have been able to have, we had plenty of opportunity in here to start considering a short position. Um, and then certainly on this break right here, when we have an open the next week, um, there was a big opportunity to capture this move. Okay, this is the same, this is the Japanese yen by the way. Um, same chart on a daily time frame now. Uh, you can get a little bit better view here when we launch the curve from this point you can see we perfectly captured this test and then perfectly captured this test Now this is on a daily time frame um, again as we're testing on the daily we drop down into a shorter time frame and further refine our uh, risk to reward on specific trades and we can take a look what this move down looks like on a daily time frame. I mean, it's just tr a tremendous move. <laughs> okay, and then as, uh, as, as we got a little bit of retracement for this uh, big move down, we were able to launch curves and you can see again that, that they caught the two uh, retracements perfectly. Um, and there was plenty of opportunity to hone intraday hone our entries um, on these retracements to you know capture this continuation down um, and then again 
we have plenty of opportunity um, to capture certainly this retracement. This one fell just just short here, um, but still came pretty close to that alert level right in here. Um, we wouldn't actually have had an alert, but you can still see, had you been looking at this visually, that we were getting darn close in there. So if we had a really good short setup on this on the day that it actually oh sorry this is the daily so on the, on this day intraday um, we would have been looking for for good short setups and uh, potentially caught a multi multi day move down my goal typically is to, to capture the top fifth of the day's range um, prior to a move like this